Welcome aboard American Airlines' A321neo service from Miami to San Francisco. Good morning from sunny Miami where today I'm going to be flying one of American Airlines' brand new A321neos all the way to San Francisco. Here's the plan. We'll depart Miami at 5.40 p.m., flying six hours to San Francisco, arriving at 8.45 p.m. I then arrived at the airport two hours prior to departure, where I was greeted with a short check-in and security checkpoint line. Before I knew it, I was already in the Miami airport terminal, where I got some quick plane spotting in before my flight. After the plane spotting, I then went to the departure gate, which was D-17, where boarding had already commenced. While boarding, I also got a quick look at today's aircraft, an ex-Alaskan Airlines A321neo, registered as November 956XV. Inside the plane, I then made my way to my Economy Class C, 31C. On the seat back today, we have a small pocket, a USB plug, and a sizable tray table. Unfortunately, the window was a bit dirty, impairing my view throughout the entire flight. A couple minutes later, the boarding door was closed and we began pushback out of Miami. Once we had reached the taxiway, we were put on hold for about half an hour due to a runway closure in San Francisco. We then taxied to runway 8 right, where we performed a 45 minute late departure towards SFO. Once the plane reached cruising altitude, the pilots turned off the fasten seatbelt sign and the flight attendants began the meal service. During this service, I opted for the Biscoff cookies as they're my favorite in-flight snack. Other than the biscuits, no other meals were provided, which was rather disappointing. It soon darkened outside and I enjoyed a sunset at 32,000 feet in the air. As it became fully dark outside, I then decided to rest for the remainder of the flight. A couple hours later, I then woke up to find out that we were descending into San Francisco. According to the pilot, we were only about 5 minutes away from touching down on runway 28 right, the only active runway at SFO. Before I knew it, we had touched down in San Francisco with a mere 45 minute delay. Once we were on the ground, we then taxied to gate B27, the final destination here at SFO. Overall, it was a pretty decent flight and I rate it a 7 out of 10. If you liked the flight review, don't forget to like and subscribe to not miss out on future uploads. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.